It's your favorite time and mine. Time for Len Rome's Nugget of Knowledge. Thank you, James. Uh, this morning, have you laminated uh, your Social Security card? If you've done to it what I've done to mine, let me uh, let me hold it up here, and uh, you can see that um, right there. Okay, it's all. Notice how I cleverly uh, blocked out the uh, the numbers there. Yeah, you're okay. clever, all right. I'm clever. Okay. Yeah. Laminated. Okay. Um, all right. It seems. Is like that on papyrus? Papyrus. <laughs> It's on stone, stone tablets. Uh, it, it seems like something responsible to do. You know, you keep it from slowly falling apart. It's just a piece of paper as, as the decades go on and your life passes on. Yeah, it's called cardstock on paper. Card yeah, stock. a little bit more, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Social Security Administration, the SSA, says please don't do this. Just, just don't do it. The government says the, lami la the lamination on it right, might cover the many security features on your card. What features? Well, let's see. Let's roll some video for you now. The first came in 1983 when the SSA changed the design and uh, made the cards, you know, to protect them from counterfeiting. In addition to being printed on banknote paper, all cards the government gave out after Halloween 1983 have at least one of these safeguards. A tamper-proof background, color-shifting ink, engraved text, yellow, pink, and blue circles, a hidden image that you can only see if you tilt the card a certain way, and a special anti-copy pattern that shows up if you try to photocopy it. If your card was printed in February 1996 or later, it might have your nine-digit number in red fluorescent ink on the back, and if your card was issued in April 2007 or later, the issue date might be beneath your signature. They just kept changing it year after year. Uh, if you did laminate your social security card to protect it, don't worry, no one's going to come to arrest you. It's not, it's not illegal, but maybe a human resources department might refuse to accept it as a valid form of ID. If you're trying for your next job, it could be for a hassle. So instead of laminating the card, stick it in a, you know, one of those baseball card sleeves, you know, or some other removable plastic case to protect it. But they say, please don't laminate it. Or do like I do and just lose just it. Just lose it. You lost your card. I know the number. Well, okay. I know but the number, so that's all I really need. So it's really protected. Because <laughs> it's... Well, wait a minute. Who knows who might have it if you lost it? Sleight of hand. Oh, yeah. It sits somewhere.